today is design studio. Studio days, I basically always look super plain, literally roll out of bed and come to class. But I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna get food earlier and then do work during lunch when everyone else is doing lunch, so. I'm so appreciative of the kind sir who always remembers my order because I'm very particular and picky, so I have like almost nothing in my bowl, but time to go back to work. I can never figure out which door. Oh. Thanks to everybody who wished me luck on finals week. We actually don't have a finals week. That's kind of like the entire month. Our last four weeks of school is just like all about finals. And this is my last assignment before our final assignment, which is gonna be an animation. Mm. Before dinner, I'm gonna go work out, do a little running. I'm already in my outfit. Literally getting out of bed 10 minutes before class begins. This is my life now. I normally have to get up and kind of, you know, prepare my brows, my face and stuff like that, but I tried out Wonder Brow and it actually doesn't smear. So when I have brows on, I put it on the night before and I just go to sleep with it and in the morning, I can just sleep. <laughs> Day. I am just, you know, upkeeping this running routine and afterwards it's more work. <laughs> I didn't wait long enough after dinner to go running so I got a cramp and I was attempting to do some anaerobic exercises which failed because I just don't really like that. I prefer cardio I think. The idea of a workout routine, I don't know. I don't, I don't see that coming anytime soon because uh, me doing anaerobic exercises is just disaster. Um, I don't have enough discipline right now because I have a very short attention span, so cardio is just much better for me. And for the past half an hour, I've just been completely, I don't know, doing like the worst anaerobic exercises ever. So I think I've waited long enough and I'm just gonna go run another mile before the fitness center closes just because I feel really guilty that I haven't been focusing. This is a gouache stain from a month ago. I know, I have a blue nipple. Dream come true. I can't wash my hair that often because the color fades and it's really difficult to wash colored hair because it comes out very tangled and dry and stuff. So I'm just gonna hope that nobody notices or smells anything, any uh, uninviting odors. I've had this towel since I was in like fifth grade. We bought it from Big Lots. And here it is, nine years later. I ordered a planner that came in the mail today, so I'm gonna go pick it up. This is not good for my fear of descending stairs. I don't know what I got myself into. I opened up the planner and it's very interesting. There's so much stuff in it about um, how to live your life purposely. But most importantly, it's undated, so I don't need to, you know, consistently use it only in the weeks I'm really busy or things like that, which is why <laughs> I got this in the first place, but who knew? There's so much more to it. Oh, this is the daily section. 
and like the monthly has like questions goals and like why and how I don't know how I feel about this because it's like almost like a therapist living in your planner if you're the same way I recommend getting um, an undated monthly or daily planner that way you can um, have a template for you to plan out on the certain weeks that you're busy instead of needing or feeling like you need to schedule shit every single week there's this one have another couple more uh, my depop is a uh, cat creature you can go check it out if you want currently waiting for registration for the fall term next year and my slot is gonna open in like 50 seconds so I'm just watching. I don't really get first pick of the really cool interesting classes because those get filled up really quickly with huge wait lists so what I'm stuck with is like hmm, global supply chains and the certain class about oh okay 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 my time slot is open let me just register really quickly it's okay, I can do it. Doesn't sound too bad. Yeah. Cool. I excite. I'm starting to get excited because I'm finally gonna start my major courses. I'm majoring in textile design for all the people who don't know yet. Um, and yeah. On a side note, I got my mom a little gift for Mother's Day and originally I was thinking just to do like a flower delivery or something, but I thought that maybe food of some sort might be better just cause flowers, um, like you kind of look at them, it's cute and then it just gets thrown out. So I found Sherry's Berries and it delivered a day early. I don't know why, but my mom really liked it. To my mom and my grandma, I'm very grateful for my family and just how I feel like I'm very blessed because our upbringing was very tough and if it wasn't for my mom I really wouldn't be anywhere I could be and like even though I have anxiety and I live in fear for the future a lot I feel like my mom and her existence to me is such like is like a backbone to how I'm even able to move forward and not be scared. Like, I can live with the fear I have, but it's because of her that I am reassured for so many things. Um, knowing that when times seem like just very hopeless and impossible, we can get from here to there. Um, we grew up with very little, but my mom made it so possible for me to have such like a full life, you know, me being able to have things I don't need and going on trips and traveling just things that I would have never been able to even imagine I can have or own um, in my childhood and even though I have a lot of um, sad memories and just struggling memories I think it's important to focus on the good and I just really want to recognize that almost majority and all of the good in my life wouldn't be if it wasn't for my mom and her um, her influence and just like her sacrifices that she made. I also am so grateful for my grandma. She's the most kind and caring grandmother. Um, she gets on my nerves sometimes when she loves to pick after my things because she wants to help me out, but I hate people touching my things, like, you know that. But, um, she's just so caring and genuine. So I'm just very grateful for these women in my family. Okay, so that was like the sappy tribute I wanted to include in this vlog, but even better, oh my God. <laughs> um, my sister sent me this hilarious video of my mom. She got these really inexpensive glasses from Japantown the other day and she was, <laughs> she was so proud. So here we go. I can't see this, I can't believe it. I have to like doing this, but I have this now. Oh, clear everything. Oh, but I can see you're a little blind because it's too far. This is reading glass. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Okay. One point five. Dollar fifty. I'm gonna knock you. You don't need to knock me. You're gonna knock me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Anyways, I've been super obsessed with Harry Styles' new album. Um, it has like 10 songs, and I never listened to One Direction beforehand because I'm not like a pop person, as I've mentioned. Um, I just like indie and rock and alternative rock. And I was doing a live stream on Instagram, and somebody told me, Oh, you know Harry Styles is like going into classic rock now. And I'm like, what? I have a sudden feeling of just love for him. <laughs> Drink all day and we we'll talk till dark. I question my deep voice at every time. That's the way the room dogs do it right till dark. Don't leave me now. I feel so alone on a Friday night. Can you make it feel like home if I tell you you're mine? It's like I told you, honey. This is a different note, isn't it? Okay, whatever. I'll go with that. Oh, I missed it! Look, you kids, with your vintage music. Coming through satellites well cruising You're part of the past but now you're the future Signals crossing can get confusing It's enough just to make you feel crazy, crazy, crazy Sometimes it's enough just to make you feel crazy <coughs> Sweet creature Had another talk about where it's going wrong Cat creature Just kidding Continuing to work on this um, it's my final for drawing. I'll explain it when I'm completely done because it's gonna come out of this frame. But yeah, I'm just proceeding with sewing this. Yeah. Oh my god, I showed my mom this over webcam and she was like, like what is that? But yeah, this is me, mom. It's it's a self-portrait. I'm not really sure what direction to go. I don't like how centered it is, so I'm gonna do something crazy and just mess it up and I think it'll be fine. <laughs>
getting ready for bed. And I am filling out my planner for the week before I go to sleep. I like to kind of have an agenda laid out before me. It's like almost like a good mental practice for me to like brace myself for my, I don't know, the tasks of the incoming week and um, puts me in a, I don't know, like a productive mindset. So I hope that you had a good weekend and that you have um, a great week coming ahead of you. I really appreciate the time you take to spend it with me today. And for everyone who comments, um, I appreciate the kind words and messages I receive and people hang out with me on Instagram Live. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.